detail the difference between how we make decisions now as opposed to how decisions are arrived at in a resource-based economy? Well, the decision-making system now is mainly based upon different industries which feel that they have a good product, so they advertise and convince people to buy that product. Whereas in the future, in a saner system, we would design products not to wear out and break down, to last as long as possible, so that the responsibility of, of the service sector would not be overloaded. The longer materials last, the less burdensome to society. Therefore, our major concern is not profit, it's the well-being of human beings throughout the world. To the degree that we neglect people, we hurt our own future. For example, if we in the United States controlled most of the Earth's resources, we would produce anxiety in other countries for fear of running out of resources, arable land, water, etc. And therefore they might invade this country to try to get the necessary resources for survival. I don't think it's wise for a nation to defend itself or try to make sustainability available only in the area that they live, because they would produce hatred and envy and try to control the resources of other countries so that they, we can enslave people or put them on minimum wage and get whatever we want produced for the self-centered reason of our nation. And, and we seek national advantage rather than global advantage. As long as we seek national advantage, it may work for a while. It may enhance the lifestyles or increase the productivity of goods and services. But that's not of long duration. This is the only thing I worry about. Sustainability for separate nations is okay in the short run, but in the long run it produces negative retroaction. So here's how we really work, if you want to know. I think the best way to understand it was assuming that we found a planet similar to the Earth, with lots of resources, unspoiled waters, non-contaminated air, and brought a group of people together and asked, what is it that people really need? And then you list all the things that people really need. The next question is, can that, can that planet provide for those needs? And if it cannot, you have to base your needs on what the planet can provide. If the population is too large, the planet cannot provide for that enlarged population. Therefore, the size of the population would be built and based upon the carrying capacity of that regional division or the planet's capacity to produce sustainable materials. Therefore, we cannot invite billions of people to live on the new planet if the planet cannot sustain them. So when I say decisions have to be arrived at, First, you have to study the carrying capacity of a planet, what it's capable of supporting. Then you design your cities and population densities so that they correspond to the carrying capacity of the environment. That's what I mean when I say people do not make decisions, they arrive at them. And how do you decide how much oxygen to carry on a submarine? Well, it depends on the amount of people in a submarine and how long you wish to be submerged. And that determines that. How do you know how much water to carry on a submarine? How do you know how much food to carry? How do you know how much electrical power? Depends on the performance you want of that submarine. Then you put in the proper electrical power for operating the submarine. You have to put in enough food and refrigeration equipment to feed the crew. If you don't provide for that, the technology may work, but the crew won't. So you have to not make decisions, you have to arrive at them.
That is a small portion of a talk about arriving at decisions is by survey and scientific method. Uh, and he covers some other things in there about population uh, laws, uh, negative retroactions of separate nations and national advantages and so forth. All of that lecture is posted in audio format. And to get that link for that uh, and other posts, be sure to sign up for the Twitter account, which is Fresco Tweets. Lectures and, and question and answers will be posted there periodically. If you'd like to help the Venus Project out more directly, then have a look at the new Global Activism page, which you'll find on the main page under the Get Involved uh, drop-down menu. And you can sign up on that. Your contributions are greatly appreciated. Thanks.